Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Open PLC Main Board. In this tutorial, we will learn about various components of Open PLC Main Board. To record this tutorial, I am using Open PLC Main Board 24V 2A SMPS USB ASP Programmer Ubuntu Linux 18.04 Operating System Open PLC is an affordable, open source and modular hardware developed at IIT Bombay by Fossey team. This board is flexible and can be interfaced with any electronic module available in the market. This is a picture of Open PLC main board. This highlighted section is the power unit of the board. It is further subdivided into input and output power sections. We will now take a look at the input power section of the board. The board must be powered using 24 volt DC power supply. The 24 volt and 12 volt connections are capable of handling up to 2 amperes of current. The onboard 24 volt input power terminals are shown on your screen marked GND which is ground and 24 volt. We are using a 24 volt 2 amperes SMPS for power supply. We have to connect line, neutral and ground terminals of 3 pin AC power cord to SMPS. Make sure that you identify the terminals of 3 pin AC power cord correctly. Connect the positive V and negative V ends of the SMPS to 24 volt and ground of the main board as shown here. While making connections, make sure that exposed metal from the wire is not protruding out. This is a wrong way to connect a wire. We should not connect the wire in this fashion as this may cause electrical shorts later on. This is the right way to connect a wire. Tighten the screws properly. Tuck the wire moderately to ensure that they are secured in place. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. Make sure that the D2 LED is glowing on your board which indicates that the board is powered up. We will now take a look at the output power section. 24, 12, 5 volt and ground outputs are provided for connections with external modules. The connections are provided through four different types of connectors. They are Relimate, Male Berg Strip, Female Berg Strip, Screw Terminal. There are four Relimate connectors on the board as marked in the picture. Most of the modules developed by Fossey will be compatible with these connectors. These will be easier to access with multi-stand cables if you don't have single stand cables. Some external modules in the market are available with either male or female bug connections. In order to accommodate both types of modules, we have male as well as female connectors. At the heart of the main board is Atmega 16 microcontroller. The microcontroller has four ports namely Port A, Port B, Port C and Port D. These ports may be configured to use as a digital input or digital output as desired. Port A can be accessed from pin 0 to 7 through this section as labeled. Port A can also be configured as analog inputs. The four pins marked doesn't belong to port A. They are output power pins as described before. Port B can be accessed from pin 0 to 7 through this section as labeled. Similarly, port C and port D. We can connect external inputs or outputs to the board in either of the three ways. They are female bug connectors or male bug connectors screw terminals. We can reset the program in the microcontroller 
using the reset button. Pressing the reset button will only reset the state of program variables. It will not erase the program from the microcontroller. This is a standard ISP header to program the microcontroller. We can connect an external programmer to this header and program the controller. To connect the header, simply match the notch on the ISB cable with the groove in the header as shown. The programmer shown in this tutorial is an USB ASP programmer. The UART pins along with 5V and ground are provided to attach an external UART module. The pin arrangements are shown in the picture. There are two status LEDs near the header to notify communication status. Points to remember. Almost all the modules developed by FOSI are designed to work with 12 volts. But since most PLC modules operate on 24 volts, we are providing an option to access 24 volts on board. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about various components of Open PLC Mainboard. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSSE forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSSE and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSSE team signing off. Thanks for watching.